Welcome to Mora FC series what it is. I'm going to teach you how to cut this simple top. Very, very easy to do it. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and comment, and click the notification bell so you're never going to miss any of my tutorial. So let's get started. You need your chest measurement, and you need your back measurement, and you need your length measurement, and you need your sleeve measurement. So this is the measurement that we need. So you're going to fold your fabric into two. You use your chest measure, you divide it by four. Let's say your chest measurement is 40. When you divide it by four, you're going to get 10. So you fold your fabric 10 plus your sewing allowance one and a half. That would be 11 and a half. Then you decided your pleats. How wide you want your pleats to be? You want it to be two inches or three inches. So if you want it to be two inches, then you have to add extra four inches because you're going to fold the pleat. But if you want your pleat to be three inches, then you have to add extra three inches to it. So when you, no, extra six inches, sorry, six inches to it. So when you fold it, you're going to get three. As I'm marking now, I'm marking five inches right now. The marking that I'm marking, I'm marking five inches. That is where I want my pleat to stop. The tip of my pleat. So I'm going to pull, hold it like this, then pull it. So that it will go under the mark that I just marked. So as I have added four inches, I'm gonna deduct the four inches to it. I'm deducting my four inches from that part. So I'm gonna pull it like this. So the five inches that I mark, you can see the line is still there. So you have to go under it. So when you do it like this, then you have to cross and check. Do you have your measurements plus your sewing allowances? You need to do it like this before cutting your, uh, your shoulder slope. You have to mark everything like this. We are working on the front pattern. The front I'm checking if I get everything right. I'm working on the right side of the fabric. That will make it easy for you. Work on the right side of the fabric. If you want it to be easy, just work on the right side of the fabric. Then you turn over to the other side. You mark your five inches again. I'm forming my pleats. After forming your pleats, you have to make sure that you have your measurement plus your sewing allowances. So this is how it's going to be. You are working on the right side of the fabric. You don't have to cut the front and the back the same. So after you have cut like this, that is when you're going to put it on the back and cut it. For the back one, you don't need to add an extra four inches for the pleat cut or whatever, no. Unless maybe you want to do some pleat at the back as well. That's when you're gonna cut the same thing. But after cutting like this, you can pin it to hold it down. So this is the back. Main t-shirt, the back is always longer than the front. The back is always longer than the front. As you can see, I've not cut the shoulder slope yet. So I added three inches for the back. I added three inches, that's a different. Three inches for the back. So we go to the shoulder slope. That I'm gonna mark two inches. That I'm in my mark. 
then I cut it. It's very important to form your pleat before cutting the slope, the shoulder slope. It's very important to cut. After that, you pull everything down like this. So you put it on it like this and half inch over the other. Put it on top of each other, a half inch. So you need your back measurement. You divide your back by two. Let's say your back is 16. You just have to divide it by two. If it's 20, you divide it by two, which is 10. So the 10, that's the same thing you're gonna do with the armhole. You mark 10 for the armhole as well. But you have to add sewing allowance for the back. If the back is 16, you divide it by two, which will give you eight. Then you add a half inch to it before you cut your armhole. I've already have some two tutorial how to cut uh, a top. I'm gonna leave the link below. It explains details on how to cut main stop. The only difference here is the pleat that we did in front. So I'm gonna leave the link below to check it out how to cut main top. I'm going to show you the reason why you have to fold the pleat before cutting the slope. At the back, you have to cut in a half inch inward. Get the center. And you mark, then you go in half inch. I'll show you the reason why you have to fold the pleat before cutting the shoulder slope. From here, I'm going to show it to you. When you open the top, we are not going to get a straight line for the shoulder. You can see there will be a curve at the shoulder. As you can see, it's not straight. This is how it's supposed to be. This is how it's supposed to be. So if you cut that one place off, you're gonna get it wrong. You're gonna get it wrong. So you have to fold it before cutting the shoulder slope. That's the reason. If you cut the shoulder slope before making the pleats, you can there will be a mistake you're gonna do a mistake there will be a mistake so you have to fold your plate in for the cut the slope the shoulder slope hey don't forget to subscribe like and share and comment it is what it is more ifc like i said i'm gonna leave a link below on that explain more details on how to cut a senator top this the difference is how the different was the pleats how to make the pleats so if you want to know details just click on the link below i'm gonna put the zip at the shoulder so there will be the turnover for the front there is no actual measurement for this you just have to cut how you want it to cut it just get it the most important that you get the shoulder and the neck and you leave a space that you want, any space that you want, you just have to leave it. We do the same thing at the back as well. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, comment. It's more IFC, it is what it is.